Can you imagine your government devaluing your currency by 90% overnight? Hard to believe, but that is the case in many countries and was the case yesterday in Lebanon when the central bank decided to devalue the currency by 90% overnight. So your dollar now has the purchasing power of 10 cents. Truly incredible, but let's run through this so that we can visualize and actually understand what that means. So let's say you're like me, you like to stack some silver up, okay? So you go in to the dealer, pay about 250 US dollars for 10 troy ounces, right? Well, today you go back with that same 250 bucks and you come back with just one ounce of silver, okay? You go to Starbucks, because you're really woke, and you get a latte for seven bucks yesterday. Today, that same latte is gonna cost you $70. So yes, I apologize. Uh, when I was doing this demonstration yesterday, I was grossly missing on the math, and I apologize for that, I'm terrible at math. Uh, I was I was saying that your $7 coffee would go to 14 That's not the case. Remember, your dollar now is the same purchasing power as $0.10. Cents. So your $7 woke latte goes to 70 bucks. Yesterday, you were able to buy 10 ounces with your 250 bucks, And today, you come back and you can only get one ounce. Just to help you guys visualize that, I'm sorry for messing up on the mass yesterday. I'm kind of a dumbass when it comes to that. But you guys understand, and this is a real thing that's taking place, not just in Lebanon, but we see countries like Argentina battling over 100% inflation amongst many others. And people think, well, it can't happen here. Well, it already is happening here. It's just they're telling us with the CPI lie that inflation only got up to 9.1%. That's a lie. True inflation is probably double that. And you guys can see the prices on anything that matters. Look at what's happened to eggs. Look at what's happened to your housing, uh, your utility bills. All of them have gone up way above 20%. So understand that it can happen here in the first world in the United States. We are not immune to this. And all fiat currencies always, history proves, go back to their intrinsic value, which is zero. So stay safe out there. Do something. And you guys know what I'm doing. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next one. God bless. All right, hold up. I got to make this point too. Yesterday, you paid 40 cents for your XRP. Today, $4 XRP. Yesterday, you're a Bitcoin maxi, you're a Bitcoin bro, so you bought Bitcoin at $23,000. Today, that same Bitcoin, $230,000. So maybe we will eventually see six-figure Bitcoin or $10,000 XRP, but what are you going to be able to buy with it? That's the question. God bless you all. See you in the next one.